everyone. So we're going to be doing a video on how to fix your, this is kind of a problem solving issue. So this is my oldest Titan motor, Titan 21 turn 550 from my TRX4. Um, and I have another one right here that I just fixed and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's power this on. Um, let me plug it in. Give me So, I'll try to get that the best, you know, listen. Super squeaky, horrible noise. You know what it sounds like? You maybe had it happen. And I looked it up on YouTube, and I went to look, and uh, turns out, oh, my remote's on. Turns out the motor just needs to be cleaned. Um, maybe this one's totally shot, but we're going to try it. I tried it with this one, which is about a year old. And they say they burn out after a year. And so what I did is you take the motor and you shoot it out with compressed air first. That didn't really do much for me. But what I do is I take some um, citrus degreaser and some water. And like maybe a toothbrush just to clean this outside. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then the noise is completely gone. Like I'll show you afterwards. So let's go. Let's go. Fix. Okay. So we got all the things we need. So you just need some citrus degreaser I know engine cleaner electric engine cleaner works too this has worked for me and then you need the motor and the hose take the motor and then you're gonna take the um, degreaser and you no know, sounds weird see those four holes you want to spray it directly into there And you want to spray it into there and get it all out. Get a bunch in there. So then we're going to take the hose and we're just going to have it on the jet setting. Not going to do this right here. I'm going to soak the camera even though it's waterproof. And we're going to spray into those holes. Okay, so we got it all cleaned out. So once again, you spray the cleaner straight into those four holes right there. And prop it up right there. You know, those four holes. I do. I like to do it like maybe twice. You could do it three times, but two is good. Um, this is the back of the motor where the wires are. Always um, did it on my axial motor too. Except where it started. And then you're gonna plop it over, and you're gonna take the cleaner and spray it into this side, and do the same thing I did with the other one. So I'm not gonna video that. You're just gonna spray it clean out, shoot it through there. And I'll just do it for a second. You wanna run it pretty slow. And then do that a couple times. Last spot we're gonna do, so we did this side and this side. The last holes, these on the side, just spray all those, rotate them, spray them all. And then just take some water and spray it in there. You want to do it till the water is clean. You want the water coming out to be clean. You don't want it to be black. If it's black, your motor needs a cleaning. I would do this like every month maybe. It's not that hard. So we'll finish this up and then spray it off overall. And then we'll go back into the shop and I'll show you the results. I'll let it dry in the sun here. Set it in the sun for a bit and then flip it. Um, so we're going to let it dry in the sun for 5-10 minutes until it's dry. And then you can blow it out with some compressed air. So we're back in the shop. I got it all plugged in, dried off. There's still some water. I just tested it to make sure it was working. I'm going to power this on. Turn this on. And here's our motor. Still got some water in it. Now, you heard what it heard like before, now listen. Reverse. That was forward. So both forward and reverse work. You know, I can hear the motor in the water. It's like trying to dry out the water, so it's smelling weird. But that is how you fix it. Um, super simple fix. I just felt like I would make a video make a video that was easy for someone who had the same issue. 
um, just need some type of degreaser or um, electric engine cleaner and then basically all if you think about it all this dirt gets in the motor after years of wear and tear and stuff so now these two motors that are technically you know Traxxas said they burned out um, I'm gonna go test them in my car and they should work completely fine in fact I was testing this one which did the same exact thing my 35 turn axial motor it hasn't even been a year old and done the same thing so this is how to fix them when you got that squeaking noise they just need to be cleaned out um, hope this helped and we'll catch you in the next one